Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about a little problem that you will probably come across when we work with metahumans and it has to do with the LODs of the um, face, I mean the head and the beard. So if you take a look at this metahuman that I created here, whenever I uh, get close to him, uh, the resolution increases and whenever I push uh, my camera back or my visualization back, uh, it turns into a low res version and this obviously has to do with Unreal Engine's LOD system. Um, the natural reaction that anybody will have whenever you face this kind of problem, even if you're not working with metahumans, will be to override the LOD settings. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is through the console command that you have at the bottom of your screen. Um, so let's try that. So let's type R that force LOD. And we're going to force LOD zero. Let's see if that works. And it doesn't work. The thing is that the metahumans work apparently with a different system. I don't know the the, the technical side of it, uh, but to my understanding, um, LOD settings on metahumans cannot be overwritten uh, through the console command. So you have to do it directly into the metahuman uh, base skeleton. So let's do that. Uh, so we're going to come here to the outliner and we're going to look for the um, metahuman itself and there's an edit blueprint uh, button here we're going to, to click here you'll be presented with this graph and if you haven't uh, worked with metahumans before the way you you access the metahuman itself is through the viewport so you come here you see the event graph construction script and viewport so now we have our metahuman and if you can um, I'm sure you can see the the problem is also evident here. So whenever we're close to the metahuman, it, it looks as high resolution as possible. But whenever we push the the visualization back or the camera back, it the the LODs um, come in action, right? Let's slow the camera down. Okay. So the regular way to solve this problem is through the LOD sync that you'll find in the components list. So you come here to components and you scroll down to the bottom and you'll find an LOD sync. Now once you click here, you're going to get this details panel and you're going to come to the forced LOD option and you're going to overwrite this with a zero. What this is going to do is to always take into, the cons into consideration LOD level zero for the character. So now if we, if we push our camera back, our character is going to be always at the highest resolution possible. He looks fantastic. To apply any of these changes, you have to come here to the compile button compile your metahuman and then save it. Let's go back to the viewport. Let's push our camera back. And our problem will be solved. Now, this is the easiest solution possible, but there will be cases when this LOD sync won't come into action for you. So there's another way to solve the LOD problem uh, with metahuman hair. So we're going to um, return the force LOD back so we see your problem once again. Here you go. Compile. Save. And if we push our camera back there's the problem again, right? If the LOD sync didn't work for you, this is what you have to do. Um, let's pick uh, the beard first. 
you're going to select the problematic mesh in this case it's going to be the beard right and you're going to scroll down until you find the groom asset so you come here to the groom asset and then you press this little folder here that is going to point you into the file itself I'm going to open this up and this is the um, groom asset uh, control uh, console itself right so you're going to have a bunch of options over here and uh, the LOD um, control is going to be the first panel actually so if you see here there's an LODs option right and you're going to, to see that there's a LOD0, LOD1, LOD2, LOD3 and there's some information about them right it says that the LOD0 which is the highest resolution has 20,862 um, curves and then LOD1 it's dividing that essentially into two so there's 10,431 and if you keep going forward you'll see that the next LOD, LOD2 has 5,216 the easiest way to solve this problem is by overriding these LODs so here's the thing the main issue with the hair comes when the LOD system kicks in but it's not um, very visible at LOD1 but the, the problem is it's pretty noticeable when you kick when you hit LOD2 why is that? because when it hits LOD2 the hair strands become geometry cards and that's when you notice the main problem so let's uh, pick something else here let's pick the mesh so when we're close it looks great right when we move back that's the first LOD you can see there's a slight difference I don't know if the YouTube compression shows it up right but when you push it back a little bit more right that's when it becomes it, it stops being uh, strands and becomes geometry cards and when it comes and when it becomes geometry cards is when the, um, the, the, the the problem is evident right so we're going to solve this so let's go back to the groom asset and all we have to do is to uh, reset these values how do we do that so we just see this little arrow here uh, the first thing we're going to reset is the geometry type log let's, so let's go back to LOD, LOD1 right uh, this one is already at geometry type strands so all we have to do is to return these values to the original set so uh, press this little arrow here And you see that it it uh, it was at 0 0.5 and now it's at 1, right? So let's reset all these values. And here's the interesting part. Uh, we talked about the, the little information strip that we had at each uh, LOD and if you see now LOD0 has 20,862 curves and LOD1 had exactly the same 20,862 curves that means that LOD0 and LOD1 are exactly the same and that's what we want so we're going to come here to LOD2 we're going to look for the geometry type, we're going to reset it. And after we reset the geometry type, we're going to reset all the values. Let's do the same in LOD3. So geometry type from cards to strands 
and then reset the values. Now you can do that with every uh, LOD, but the uh, metahumans have eight LODs and uh, that's too much. You probably don't need to reset the values at each LOD, um, but uh, you might as well do it if you are going to have a camera very far away from the character. So what I had to do so far is usually to reset LODs up to level four or five. Uh, and after that, I, I've never had the camera so far. So let's do that. Let's reset this. Reset the values. And one more time. Once you have fixed or, or tweaked all your LODs, you have to save your Grom asset. Let's close it and let's look at the character now. And you can see that the LOD system is kicking in, but the beard, it's keeping its high resolution. So you can do this with any um, any of the hair meshes, so you can do this exactly exactly the same way with the mustache. So you find your groom asset, and in the LOD panel, you have to reset everything. So let's reset this, reset this, reset this, reset this, and reset this, and. You keep doing this with each LOD you probably need. So I'm going to do this up to LOD4 for the sake of demonstration. Fine. Let's reset the values. Let's save the groom asset and let's check if if it is working and as you can see the LOD system is kicking in but the mustache and the beard are keeping their uh, resolution so now you know uh, the easiest way to solve this problem is through the LOD sync but if the LOD sync doesn't work which has happened to me before you can tweak individually uh, each chrome asset Right. Uh, so that's it. Uh, finally, like every like every time you you tweak a metahuman, you have to compile it and save it, right? Once it's compiled, let's go back and let's see it. There you go. So I hope you find this useful and uh, if you find any issues with this technique, let me know. Um, uh, I obviously need to, to, to make clear that this is, uh, you override the LOD uh, whenever you, you're going to do something that is not necessarily real time. If you're, if you're working on a game, you don't want to, to override your LODs. So that's it. Yeah, I hope you guys find this useful and uh, let me know if you uh, have any other questions. See you later.